the Viceroy of Ballad Matthew Prior Tune, Amperson Quo, Lady Isabella's Tragedy, Amperson Quo, Orm Quo, The Stepmother's Cruelty, Amperson Quo, of Nero, Tyrant, Petty King, who heretofore did reign in famed Hibernia, I will sing, and in a ditty plain. He hated was by rich and poor for reasons you shall hear. So ill he exercised his power that he himself did fear. Full proud and arrogant was he, and covetous with all. The guilty he would still set free, but guiltless men in thrall. He with a haughty, impious not would curse and dogmatize, nor fearing either man or God, gold he did idolize. A patriot of high degree, who could no longer bear this upstart viceroy's tyranny, against him did declare. And, armed with truth, impeached the dawn of his enormous crimes, which I'll unfold to Anna in low but faithful rhymes. The articles recorded stand against this peerless peer. Search but the archives of the land you'll find them written there. Attend and justly I'll recite his treasons to you all, the heads set in their native light, and sigh poor Gaffney's fall. That traitorously he did abuse the power in him reposed, and wickedly the same did use, on all mankind imposed. That he contrary to all law, an oath did frame and make, compelling the militia this illegal oath to take. Free quarters for the army too he did exact and force. On Protestants his love to show, then Papist used them worse. On all provisions destined for the camp at Limerick, he laid a tar full hard and sore, though many men were sick. The settlers, too, he did ordain for licenses should pay, which they refused with just disdain, and fled the camp away. By which provisions were so scant that hundreds there did die. The soldiers' food and drink did wand, nor famine could they fly. He so much loved his private gain he could not hear or see. They might or die or might complain without relief party. That above and against all right, by words of mouth did he, in council sitting, hellish spite, the farmer's fate decree. That he, O seal, without trial, straightway should hang be, though then the courts were open all, yet Nero judge would be. No sooner said but it was done, the borough did his worst. Gaffney, alas, is dead and gone, and left his judge accursed. In this concise despotic way unhappy Gaffney fell, which did all honest men affray, as truly it might well. Full two good hundred pounds a year, this poor man's real estate, he settled on his favorite deer, and Culliford can say single quote he. Besides, he gave five hundred pound to fielding his own scribe, who was his bail. One friend he found. He owed him to the bribe. But for his horrid murder vile none did him prosecute. His old friend helped him o'er the stile. With Satan who dispute. With France, fair England's mortal foe, a trade he carried on. Had any other done single quote he, I trow, to tripos he had gone. That he did likewise traitorously, to bring his ends to bear, enrich himself most navishly. O thief without compare. Vast quantities of stores did he embezzle and purloin. Of the king's stores he kept a key, converting them to coin. T.E. forfeited estates also, both real and personal, did with the stores together go. Fierce Cerberus swallowed all. Meanwhile the soldiers sighed and sobbed, for not one sous had they. His excellence had each man fubbed, for he had sunk their pay. Nero without the least disguise, the purpose at all times still favored, and the robberies looked on as trivial crimes. The Protestants, whom they did rob during his government, were forced with patience, like good Job, to rest themselves content. For he did basely them refuse our legal remedy. The Romans still he well did use, still screened their augury. Succinctly thus to you I've told how this viceroy did reign, and other truths I shall unfold. For truth is always plain. The best of queens he hath reviled before and since her death, he, cruel and ungrateful, smiled when she resigned her breath. Forgetful of the favors kind she had on him bestowed, like Lucifer, his rancorous mind, he loved nor her nor God. But listen, Nero, lend thy ears, as still thou hast them on. Hear what Britannia says, with tears, of Anna dead and gone. Amperson quo. Oh! Sacred be her memory, forever dear her name. There never was nor e'er can be a brighter juster dame. Amperson quo. 
Blessed be my sons, and eke all those who on her praises dwell. She conquered Britain's fiercest foes, she did all queens excel. Empress and quo. All princes, kings, and potentates, ambassadors did send. All nations, provinces, and states, sought Anna for their friend. Empress and quo. In Anna they did all confide, for Anna they could trust. Her royal faith they all had tried, for Anna still was just. Empress and quo. Truth, mercy, justice, did surround her awful judgment seat. In her the graces all were found, in Anna all complete. Empress and quo. She held the sword and balance right, and sought her people's good. In clemency she did delight, her reign not stained with blood. Empress and quo. Her gracious goodness, piety, in all her deeds did shine, and bounteous was her charity, all attributes divine. Empress and quo. Consummate wisdom, meanness, all adorned the words she spoke, when they from her fair lips did fall, and sweet her lovely look. Empress and quo. Ten thousand glorious deeds to crown, she caused dire war to cease. A greater empress ne'er was known, she fixed the world in peace. Empress and quo. This last in godlike act achieved, to heaven she winged her flight. Her loss with tears all Europe grieved, their strength and dear delight. Empress and quo. Leave we in bliss this heavenly saint, revere, ye just, her urn. Her virtues high and excellent, astriagon we mourn. Empress and quo. Commemorate, my sons, the day which gave great Anna birth. Keep it forever and for aye, and annual be your mirth. Empress and quo. Illustrious George now fills the throne, our wise benign good king. Who can his wondrous deeds make known, or his bright actions sing? The, favorite Nero, he has deemed to raise to high degree. Well thou thy honors hast sustained, well vouched thy ancestry. But pass, these honors on thee laid, can they e'er make thee white? Don't gaff me's blood, which thou hast shed, thy guilty soul if right? Oh! Is there not, grim mortal, tell, places of bliss and woe? Oh! Is there not a heaven, a hell? But whither wilt thou go? Can not change thy obdurate mind? Wilt thou forever rail? The prophet on thee well refined, and set thy wit to sail. How thou art lost to sense and shame three countries witness be. Thy conduct all just men do blame liber knows the meanie. Dame justice waits thee, well I ween, her sword is brandished high. Not can thee from her vengeance screen, nor canest thou from her fly. Heavy her ire will fall on thee, the glittering steel is sure. Sooner or later, all agree, she cuts off the impure. To her I leave thee, gloomy peer, think on thy crimes committed. Repent, and be for once sincere, thou ne'er wilt be dewitted.